the son of a people. <laughs> Okay, dear Nintendo fans, as previously announced, the Wii Shop channel will close for good on January 30th, 2019. The ability to add Wii points was removed last year, but if you still have any Wii points that you wish to spend, you must do so before January 30th, 2019. If you have any questions, don't ask, because we won't reply, probably. Okay. <sighs> I love this song, like, I can go on forever and ever. Again, so it's a stinking showmanship thing, just the song, the layout. It was a sinking blast back in the day. Start shopping. I just discovered I have 200 Wii points that have not been used yet. I'm going to make it my mission to end this video off actually buying something on the Wii Shop channel. I got two dollars and I'm gonna stink and spend it. Will I find something? Probably not. Will I find something worthwhile? Probably even less chanceful. Chanceful, whatever. I'm gonna go through, I think if you just go newest editions, then like it shows the entire library, which is 40 pages, oh Jesus. Uh, Cause if you just do popular titles, it's like a page or two pages right there. So go through newest editions. So every NES game was listed at 500 points. Every Super Nintendo game was 800. Every N64 game was a thousand. So those are probably gonna be off limits. Uh, my best bet's probably gonna be in WiiWare, but let's just look through it and I'll list any games that are in my price range and if I actually want any of them. I'm not gonna go and name every single game as we go through here because this video is long enough as it is, but if you see any any games that you have fond memories of and you played, then let me know about it. If I see something that like I wanted to buy but I missed out on, I really should have bought stuff. It was like, money was just tight at the moment, so I didn't do it. I just thought like, eh, it doesn't really matter, but there are some things I really wish I got when I, had, when I still had the chance. I really regret it, but... Oh well, maybe, knowing my luck, it'll just get released on a different console in the future, so whatever. Uh, let's see, nothing of interest right here. Double Dragon 2, I was considering getting, but like, I think it's actually really hated. I don't know. Uh, Mega Man X2, I don't have any of the Mega Man X games, I don't even want to get into that. Uh, side things like, I don't play any of the other ones, so like, I didn't want to waste money on it. Uh, that was cool, and they showed you, like, games that were originally Japanese exclusive. Uh, but that got released on virtual consoles, that's really cool. Super Hanon, that's a great name. Uh, let's see, anything interesting? Probably not. Uh, there's probably gonna be a bunch of cuts throughout this just because I want to keep you here for too long, but uh, I guess we'll just look around and whatnot. Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Uh, the distant relative of Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom, perhaps? Oh, A Boy and His Blob Trouble in Blobonia. This game got remade on the Wii with like updated graphics that are kind of like a storybook art style, kind of like Wario Land Shake It. I just think I love that game. Uh, I think this is just like a the original NES version, and it's not a sequel, it's more so like a recreation, kind of like with Klonoa. Um, I'm okay with not having this, though. I was just kind of shocked when I saw because I thought A Boy and His Blob was just, was just a Wii game, but then I saw this on here, I was like, what? It was based on something old? Yeah, the Wii had like a lot of uh, restorations of old franchises that never really got advertised as a restoration of an old franchise, but it was just kind of cool when the Virtual Cons, when you look through it, you see, oh, hey, this is actually, this Wii game I have is actually from something old. Excite truck, anyone? Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I know a lot of people love this game, but I've never played it and I probably never will. Here's my main, uh, regret. I think all of the fantasy, fantasy, I think all the fantasy star games are on virtual console. And as far as I'm aware, that's the only like modern place where you could get them. I wanted them, but I never went with it because there's like four of them on here and I didn't have the money for all of them right then and there. So that's like my number one regret. When I think of regrets for not getting things on the virtual console, Fantasy Star is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, oh, Nobunaga's Naga's Ambition. 
That name may seem a little bit familiar to you, those of you who played Pokemon Conquest. It's a very late game DS game where it's a ta tactical RPG like Fire Emblem with characters from Nobunaga's Ambition teaming up with Pokemon. It's really stinking weird. It's really fun actually. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it, but I don't know how this collaboration happened, but I've never heard of this thing and it's not like the Rabbids were like they're still involved in today's day and age. Maybe this thing is still around, I have no idea, but I've never heard of it before Pokemon Conquest and I never heard of it after Pokemon Conquest, so uh, I recommend Pokemon Conquest, but as for this, I have no idea. It's just cool that it's on here though. Bomberman 94? I guess 1994, okay. Didn't even know that was a game. Titana Twinbee! Uh, the lost cousin of Buck Bumble, perhaps? Is Buck Bumble on Virtual Console? If so, I'm gonna be really mad that I don't have it, but eh, probably not. Uh, Star Tropics 2, Zoda's Revenge. I was kind of hopeful that that's another regret that I kind of wish I had just for the sake of having it because I have Star Tropics 1, so I should have the sequel, right? Unfortunately, I missed out on it. Another singing fantasy star game. Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. No thanks. Dig Dug was Japanese exclusive? What? I know that's not true. Like, what? Maybe just the NES version was Japanese exclusive? Cause like it was on arcade cabinets, I know that much, and been really released on Game Boy Advance and all that jazz. Uh, might be an error, I don't know. Uh, River City Ransom is a game that I know a lot of people really like, but I didn't get it, so... It stinks to be... <laughs> stinks to be me. Fantasy Zone, is that anything to do with Fantasy Star? Do Re Mi Fantasy Mylon's Doki Doki Adventure. Um, sequel to Mylon's Secret Castle for NES? No thanks. The original Harvest Moon's on Virtual Console? I didn't know that. Wasn't that like a really big deal when it got announced on Wii U? Why? But it's on the Wii, so why, why do people care? Maybe it was a different Harvest Moon game, but that's weird. It was like the N64 one, that's probably why. Tiny snowboarder, and I just sort of want it for the sake of having it, just because I think it's the first game. If you alphabetize all the N64 games, then this is the first one. I sort of want it for that, but not anything else. Oh, Donkey Kong Country 3 is on the virtual console still. What about the other ones? Didn't they get. Wait, now I'm having like a flashback. They got taken down, but then put back up, I think. I don't know why, but whatever. Double Dribble, the sports spin-off of Double Dragon. Echo Jr. Uh, do people like this game? Considering it's a Sonic game, the answer is either a resounding yes or a resounding no. And both parties are probably wrong. Sin and Punishment's a Nintendo 64 game? What? It's a Japan only N64 game, but I thought it was just a Wii game. Is the Wii game a remake or is it a sequel? Huh. Again, you learn something new whenever you go through here, because like, I didn't know that. I thought Sin and Punishment was an original Wii game that everyone really liked, but it was on N64 for 1200 Wii points. 
Also, that was a big deal. Mario Bros. All Stars. Well, I guess the All Stars pack on Super Nintendo existed back in the day, so it's not that special. But yeah, that's weird. I had no idea Sin and Punishment was a Nintendo 64 game. Bonk 3, Bonk's Big Adventure. I'm really interested in knowing what Bonk 1 and 2 are called. Why were you on here? Dead Moon. I thought it was a dead mom for a second. I was like, wait, what? Hey, it's like PB and Jeff, but it's JJ and Jeff. I wonder if that's actually a reference to this game. Probably is. Blazing lasers, don't you mean blazers? Nee. <laughs> also, Donkey Kong Country 2 is on here. Like, I thought it didn't. Like, I thought it wasn't. Bonk's Revenge, there you go. God, there are a lot of Alex Kidd games I didn't know of. I know he was Sega's mascot before Sonic, but still. Beyond Oasis, the prequel to Ever Oasis? Sonic Spinball's on here? I didn't know that. Again, do people like it? Baseball for NES. Tennis for NES. Ice hockey for NES. Good Star Heroes, the thing. Oh, I wish I got that. Why do you have so many games? I don't understand. And there's a Bomberman 93 that I didn't know existed. Cool. Pinball for NES. Soccer for NES. You're telling me they don't have golf for NES on Virtual Console? What? Maybe I missed it, but I swear to God, they don't have golf for NES. I'm going to be stinking ticked. And Warriors Woods, I kind of wish I got that. Okay, the final verdict. There is not a single virtual console game I could purchase. The cheapest one is at 500 points. That's unfortunate. The WiiWare, though, is full of shovelware, so surely there's gonna be something that's 100 or 200 points, right? Maybe, possibly? And let's see what we got. Newest editions. We got 35 pages, not as uh, long as 40 pages, but here we go. Oh boy, I'm sure we're gonna see some hidden gems in here, if you want to call it that. Frogger, I just met her. Let's create pottery. Say- Okay. It's free! Oh, it's a demo. Should I download it then? Too fast for gnomes? Why are gnomes so fast, and why do I need to be too fast for them? Carmen, wait, what? Carmen San Diego Math, The Big Ben Burglary. Okay, sure. Suck her up. All these demos that I might get, I don't know. I want to get an actual game if there is anything. I'm going to be really disappointed if there's not a single thing here that's 100 or 200 points. I feel like there is. There should be.
Just Jam, the sequel to Just Dance. By the way, did anyone actually get Just Dance 2019 on Wii? My little baby, my little baby. You ain't got nothing, babysitting mom. You don't even come with a baby. What the heck is wrong with you? Cozy Fire, everyone's favorite we wear game. What do you do? You look at a fire. Uh, Chick Chick Boom, I know a lot of people like that game. Puka's Kisses Game. I remember this was a Disney XD show about a very horny girl named Puka who wanted to make out with a ninja. And that's all the show was about as far as I'm aware. Wait, Ro- Oh, Roblox. I was like, Roblox is on a WiiWare? What? <laughs> I got really confused. Of Fluidity, there's a 3DS game called Fluidity Spin Cycle, which I think is a sequel? Either a sequel or like a remaster? But it started out on the Wii and it used motion controls. I think people actually like this game, so not gonna be getting it, but it's a thing that existed. But you can get it on 3DS if you like the concept. And yet it moves, sure. Enjoy your massage. No thanks. Oh goody, it had a sequel. Wait, 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 what? Excuse me? Um, okay? Maybe WiiWare was a mistake. Bejeweled on WiiWare, only $10? Oh boy! Zoo Disc Golf. Is it Frisbee or is it golf? I have no idea. Voodoo dice. Okay. Oh, Phoenix Wright. Also, let me just say, to anyone who didn't, who has the Phoenix Wright one game on WiiWare but doesn't have the DLC for the final case, I feel really bad for you. Uh, WarioWare DIY Showcase. It's a WarioWare game on uh, WiiWare. I think it's on other things, but I'm not entirely sure. That's kind of cool, though. I guess. Getting kind of concerned here. I remember there being super dirt cheap stuff. It was just like garbage though, so I didn't buy any of it. But is there really nothing I could get for one or two hundred points? Bloons! Hubert the Teddy Bear Winter Games. Okay. Monkey Island. People like these games, right? Chapter 5. Like, they're separate? I don't know anything about Monkey Island, and I just know people talk about it, and then people are like, oh yeah! Aha! I found it! Hidden object game. Biddles Plus. No, I didn't want to click on it. Was that a tentacle? What? Shadow Play. I imagine this is thrilling. Eat, fat, fight. Sure. I don't entirely hate you guys anymore. My dolphin. Believe it or not, I actually had this game once upon a time. Once upon a time? Once upon a time. So, on my original Wii, I actually got this game for $5, though I had to spend a thousand points to get it, so I got my dolphin. 
It's like Nintendogs, but with a dolphin. You have a dolphin. And that's it. Yeah, just look at it, and you're like, yeah, see it swim. I don't know why I got it, but whatever. So when my first Wii broke, Nintendo, when I contacted them about it, they actually were kind enough to uh, give me back... Uh, because I lost all my like virtual console stuff, but, like the data was still there because I had the SD card for it, but they were kind enough to give me free eShop points or uh, Wii Shop channel points that equaled up to all of the games I had. So I was able to buy all of my games back and since the data was already on there, I uh, didn't lose any of my save data. It was incredibly kind of them and I really hope that they still do that for people uh, in this day and age who have the same problem as me when I got like a new Wii. But yeah, it was just a really cool thing that I very much appreciate them doing. It was just kind of cool that I was contacting Nintendo headquarters and they were helping me out. It was just a kind of surreal feeling at the time. But uh, when when repurchasing all my games, I may have uh, bought some other things instead of the cold classic My Dolphin. Just a just a possibility. I don't know. I thought, said, I thought it said, my life was a Dark Lord LMAO. I was like, what? <laughs> Apparently Monkey Island's a Telltale game because like it split up into different chapters and whatnot. I see all the chapters in here, so I kind of wish I got it, but I didn't. I, I missed out on it, unfortunately. Sexy poker, hey! No. Uh, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, but. I assume this isn't just straight up Final Fantasy IV, this is like a spin-off or a sequel. Kind of weird that it's on here. Adventure Island's on here? What? It's lit, bro. Fun! Fun! Mini Golf! Why is Mini Golf the only thing that doesn't have an explanation point? It's at the end of the sentence, oh god. Oh hey, here it is, speaking of Telltale. So my biggest regret on the virtual console side of things that I regret uh, not purchasing is Fantasy Star, but on the WiiWare side of things, my biggest regret is not getting Strombad's cool game for attractive people. I'm not gonna pretend that I was a fan of Homestar Runner back in the day, I was not part of the internet back then, but it's an experience, it's a telltale game featuring Strombad, and how could you not want a game called Strombad's Cool Game for Attractive People? Why didn't I get it? Each episode costs 10 bucks, that's why. I think you can get on other things nowadays though, so it's not completely lost, but some other gems are gonna be gone for good, like Boings or Target Toss Pro Bags. So sad. We're getting to the end here, I think I'm gonna be out of luck, unfortunately, that I don't get anything on the shop channel in the end. Oh hey, my game! Cause it's midnight. Bomberman Blast, okay, Bomberman game, that looks cool. I just wish I could purchase it. Or was it my aquarium? Was it the, my dolphin or my aquarium? I had one of them. I might have gotten my dolphin just cause I like dolphins, but conceivably my aquarium would also have dolphins in it, but other fish as well, so... Maybe I got conned out of my money. Yeah, that's how I got conned out of my money. There's Dr. Mario Online, R Online RX. Kind of wish I got it, but at the end of the day, it's just Dr. Mario. I got Dr. Luigi and Dr. Mario on um, NES Classic, so it's not too bad that I don't have this. Only one page left. Is there still hope? VIP, more like RIP. So there's nothing I could get with these 200 Wii points. I'm just gonna search it real quick to be absolutely sure. Just gonna check Google if there's any hope. 
<sighs> it doesn't look like it. There's nothing I could get for 100 or 200 points. As for channels, there were a couple of different options back in the day. Those of you might remember, I don't even remember what they were called, but like everybody votes channel and like, it was like some different me one. It was like places where you could put your me's on the internet and you could find other people's me's and put them in your own me channel and stuff. It was like a really cool thing back in the day and I just spent a lot of time on there. It was just really funny seeing all the different me's that people made. Unfortunately on Wii U, you can't get those. But I think we're out of luck. There's nothing I could spend these 200 points on. Or is there? I looked it up. And apparently, just like with Phoenix Wright that had a 100 point DLC within it, Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10 also have DLC within it, and they cost a 100 points each. The final hope. Here's hoping I don't have to beat the game first. <sighs> Remember those days? When's Reckless Wemo Guy coming to Smash 5? Also, this game has motion controls? What? I don't think it does. I think that's just a requirement on every Wii game. Uh, Mega Man 9. Plus button. Downloadable content. Okay. Oh man, is this really happening? Am I gonna be able to spend my last 200 Wii points? Please, please just be one DLC thing that costs 100 points, and that's it. So I can do it for the other game as well. God darn it, there's more! There's multiple! No! Proto Man mode, hero mode, superhero mode, endless attack mode, special, special stage. What do they all entail? I don't know. And now I gotta check the sinking Mega Man 10, see what that's all about. As for Mega Man 10, which looks lower quality than Mega Man 9 for some reason, uh, add on content. There are multiple DLCs. Bass mode, I know it's bass. Don't hurt me. Endless attack mode. Special stage one, special stage two, special stage three. Thing is, I kind of want to get Proto Man and Base just because like it's a different character, so I feel like that'd be the best one to get. But both of them cost 200, so I'd have to choose one or the other. What does Proto Man look like? I don't think I know. I know what Base looks like because of stinking uh, Smash Bros. Proto man. He looks stupid. He looks like a combination of base and Mega Man. Oh wait, that's not base, what? Who's the guy in the stinking Smash Direct who was all like back to base? I thought that was it. I thought that was that was base. Okay, he's a different dude. I don't know anything about Mega Man. Hey. Was that the only DLC I could get? That's the only way I could spend points. Like, I looked it up and apparently there's no game on the Wii Shop channel that's 100 or 200 points. There are DLC. There's DLC, though, that costs that much. There's the fifth case in Phoenix Wright. There's the DLC in Mega Man. Apparently there's some extra songs in Guitar Hero you could get with Wii Shop points, but most of my stuff is Virtual Console, so it doesn't apply. There is no DLC. MY DOLPHIN HAS DLC! GOD DARN IT! Ugh. 
I knew it would come back to bite me in the butt one day that I abandoned you. I'm sorry, Dolphin. Apparently, Samba de Amigo for the Wii has DLC. It's a physical cartridge, but it, or not a cartridge, a physical disc, but it has DLC for it that you get through the Wii Shop channel, but it costs 500 Wii points, so I can't get it. Cool. So I have to choose between these two. I know I could just get the special stages or whatever, just so I could say that I got DLC from both of them, but... Huh. Proto Man or Base? So I just asked Twitter, I was like, Mega Man Enthusiast, quick, Proto Man or Base? And whatever reply I get first is gonna be the answer, but um... So, we're an hour and 45 minutes into this recording, and I haven't got a reply yet. Not, I haven't been waiting for an hour and 45 minutes, but I think I'm just going to go with Proto Man, because I've heard better things about Mega Man 9 than 10 over the years, and by from people, I mean like two people. I've heard people say good things about Mega Man 9, but not so much about 10. I'm never going to play it. I honestly do not care. I just want to spend the points on something. And if I can't spend it on stinking my dolphin, then Mega Man 9 is the next best thing, I guess. And besides, I have like fond memories of this game from that one bootleg Chuggy Conroy video where he plays this game. Only 90s kids remember that episode. Purchase DLC. This is going to be the last purchase with Wii points. Not on the Wii Shop channel, unfortunately, so we can't see the cool little animation of uh, Mario running across the screen as the game is downloading and you could sometimes get Luigi and he hits the dice blocks or if you get Fire Mario then you get to shoot fireballs if you press the A button while he's running across and it was super cool. No. Whatever. Proto Man, let's go. I don't know who any of these characters are, so I can't be like, oh cool, it's that, it's the, the guy with the helmet who's ducking down, and it's Mega Man and his doggy and Roll, and why they edit Mega Man's name but not his sister's name, so I've always think like she's just named after Bread, <laughs> like her name is Roll, like a Bread Roll or something like that. Uh, the dog, I think his name is Coil, I think. Oh, hey, they're dancing, cool. Uh, Dr. Light, Dr. Wily is not here, but I know he exists. Just want to say the name of a character so I sound somewhat intelligent. Uh, I don't know anyone else. Just basically anything, man. Like Guts Man, Cut Man, Napalm Man. I saw that when we went through the spirits in Smash Ultimate, I was like, what the fruit's a Napalm? Uh, apparently, there's a Plug Man in one of the games. I was like, what the fruit? Uh. Oh, also, uh, Mega Man 9 has the first female robot boss that has Splash Woman instead of a man, which was really cool, so... Oh wait, it's a download complete, I was like, I was just waiting for it to go, I was like, oh hey, we're done. Finished receiving. Guess that's it. And another little thing, whenever you purchase a game on the 3DS, it gets wrapped in a little stinking present and looks super adorable. And another little showmanship thing, when you get a new game, it's wrapped in a present, you gotta open it up, you gotta unwrap it. It's really cool. But the Switch has nothing like that, unfortunately. I know it's all the little tiny things that just make it look nice and shiny, but nobody cares because it all just wants it to look like a tablet and an iPhone, but whatever. All has been lost, but not forgotten. <sighs> Guess that's it. The last time at the Wii Shop channel. I don't even know if you'll be able to come back to this page and hear these songs. Or if you're just gonna get an air message on your way in. That's probably gonna be it. You won't even be able to hear this song ever again. That's a real travesty right there. It's a great stinking song. But yeah. That's all I can really say. We spent a long stinking time on this. A lot more than I thought it was going to. I might have split it up into multiple parts. Uh, might actually be kind of useful considering that I'm just kind of behind with editing, so a uh, nice little entertainment for you guys to look at, I guess. But yeah, that's about it. Also, showmanship! 
I have so many wonderful memories revolving around the Wii U and the Wii and the 3DS and all of Nintendo's consoles, honestly. Well, I haven't had that many good experiences with the Switch yet, I'm hoping that'll change sometime soon. But for now, it's time for this door to close and another one to open. Later on, I'll be picking up Kingdom Hearts 3 and I'll get to experience that game along with the rest of the world. But for now, our trip down memory lane has come to a close. Hope you had fun. Hope you shared some of your favorite memories with the Wii Shop channel and any other Wii or Wii U things along the way as well in the comments. That was a really long run on sentence right there. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Showmanship.